Alright guys, it's been a little while since my last video. It's uh, the weekend and uh, went hunting for a Yeah, you can right when I'm done. Uh, went out for a little hunt with uh, my future son-in-law uh, yesterday, Friday evening, at an old park at the base of uh, the Cuesta Grade in San Luis. There's a, uh, it was like a you know, park's been there, kind of sort of, not as a park, but since like uh, the late 1800s and did okay got close uh close to silver i got a 65 it seems like that's always the always the way it goes but um didn't really have but a couple hours to hunt it um and some other just regular clad today went to a couple beaches uh saturday morning and at the end of my last hunt i got a little uh little toe ring it says 925 it's got a little uh little anchor on it thought that was pretty neat uh yeah. the reason this is here is i was i don't know if i put this in one of my other videos or not but i got this uh down near the water line and it had some funky stuff on right up around here and i thought it was rust so i thought it must be junk jewelry and then yesterday when we went um to the park at the base of the quester grade I went with Harry and um, he found a, a 14 karat um, gold earring which beat me because all I've found is silver so far so he was pretty happy about that but um, he thought his was junk too and when he looked at his um, the stamp was actually on the post it was really super hard to see super super fine and it, it was stamped 14k so but I, I had to put glasses on just to see it so I thought, you know what, maybe maybe there is a stamp on that ring, and I saved my, most of my junk jewelry anyways, and but I had this in my junk finds. So I took a Q-tip and cleaned it up really good, and right on the inside, right in there, there was a TM, and then on the back side of this, there was a very small, at the very top, was a 925, and this camera won't show it. But the reason I'm showing it is because, uh, in case you guys are out there and most of you probably already know it but um, look really closely at what you think might be a good find but if it's not stamped look really closely everywhere make sure it's clean so that in case it is a 925 you don't wind up throwing it away or getting rid of it and so yeah that, that was kind of cool that was a little surprise treasure there and uh, along with the, the toe ring that makes a total of 10 uh, 925 silvers um, all those are up here. That's the latest one that I just showed you. Um, and my junk finds. This one, I looked really close from that one for any kind of markings because it sparkled really good, but uh, no markings, so probably not any good, but still pretty. Um, and I was reviewing, oh, one more thing for digging Norway. As I stated prior, I have a bunch of tent stakes, and they just seem to come like crazy, so. Uh, there they are. That's for you there, digging Norway. Um, I think you actually have a couple of uh, different styles that I don't have yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll find some eventually. Okay, um, I was reviewing my uh, views on my videos, and I noticed that most of the video views were on my hunts to Pirate's Cove. And uh, I thought, well, you know what? I said I was going to do the other side of the beach. Um, so I think I'll do that tomorrow. Um, early morning and I'll try to fl film that for you guys if I can get the camera to work um, supposedly uh, Sir Francis Drake uh, used to sail up the coast here and um, pirate uh, Spanish galleons that were running their their uh, silver shipments they used to run them twice a year and I guess he gave them a pretty hard time and was robbing a lot of their ships and stuff um, this was a a model of his ship, um, the Golden Hind. Um, there was actually, I think, three ships or five ships or whatever. Uh, several of them were lost. Um, this one that he was on actually made it back to England. Um, anyways, uh, he supposedly, according to some of the uh, legends or lore, uh, in this edition. Um, it states that he uh, may have hidden a large cache out there at Pirate's Cove. 
Um, so if you guys have this book, you probably already know all about that, but it's uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, I didn't have it marked to the page because I wasn't totally ready, but I'm kind of babysitting uh, until the wife gets home. So anyways, um, I'll give you guys an update on the actual what's written in the book here uh, tomorrow after I get back from hunting there, if I get an opportunity to go. And anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys, and hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.